for Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. We're going to open the public hearings with building and Board of Health permit applications. First on the list. 83 Morgan Street. That was... 83 Morgan? Yeah, that was you. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you spell your name? Just because I'm... It's Willard. Okay. Okay. And what was your first name? Right. Okay. Okay. You can just tell them. Sure. It's what? cool. Oh, we're just uh, installing the in-ground pool. Okay. You don't have it, the, the location of the worst on the lot? Um, we can't get that into the town today because it does make the building permanent. You have a sketch of anything? I didn't bring it again. I just I gave it to the town this morning. We gave it to the town this Let's go to Amanda. Thank you. Was it above ground or below ground? In ground. How far behind the house? To be honest with you, I was the air person in my own house. Okay. And The air, is that the wetlands? That is, yeah. <laughs> kind of know where the water table is. Yeah, let's zoom out and see where we are. Oh, that's the, that's the Stony Brook uh, watershed. Aerial, do you have the aerial image? Oh, uh, yeah. Excuse me, sir, did, did you do any um, soil test pits for this project? <clears throat> oh, is there already a pool out there? Yes. And it's just an above ground? I think it's an yeah. above ground pool. Oh, above ground pool. It's an above ground, it's there now that we're replacing yes. okay. it. And the reason I ask is, um, the water table could be fairly high there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So you'll build it up. Okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't want you to have a pool which pops out of the ground when the water table goes up. Okay. Any tree cutting? Tree clearing? No. It's pretty sure it's just going into the city. All right. Yeah. Oh, if it's going on the lawn, I don't think there's an issue. Yeah. So Amanda from the ed Excuse me, so from the edge of the trees to the wetland, how far? From the edge of the trees to the wetland? Yeah. Um, about 150 feet. Okay, so that's fine. that's fine. You also have a stream back there, though. I move we approve it. As long as, as, long as the uh, pool is on the grass area or you're not cutting trees. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you might so. make, want to make the pool subject to no tree cutting. Okay. If you do have to cut trees, just come back and we'll then take a closer look at it, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Pretty sure that it's going to right where we want Sure. Do you know the size of it? It is a 24 by 48 to be located on the existing um, lawn, no tree cutting. 24 by 48. It's a good size. That's pool. a big. That's a big. Pool. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You have your building permit with you? Because on that we have to initialize. We, we initial in the on that application. Somebody has to go get that and. Yeah, we'll meet uh, the 24th. Yes, April 24th. So, Bill made a motion and you approved. I second it. Approved. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, we'll see you on uh, April 24th with that. Thank you. Good to meet you. Jim, you're here for...
I'm going to recuse myself because yeah, yeah. I know Who I'm working with Jim, Jim on the uh, land registration yep. in Austin. Yep. Uh, subsequent to our last meeting um, two weeks ago, uh, we Sorry. yeah, no, no, it's fine. We communicated with Al Weiss, who's the septic designer for this project, and Al uh, sent a letter to the effect that the proposed leach field will be greater than 200 feet from the uh, mean annual high water of the, uh, of the stream in that area. So regardless of whether or not it's intermittent or perennial, uh, it's still not subject to the Rivers Act. So I think there shouldn't be an issue here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's the, yeah. I had a, yeah, and, no, and I think okay. you read the same, the same uh, correspondence. So I, I move that we uh, approve the project as presented. Aye, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And technically, you could have voted through the rule of necessity on this one. No, I don't see this one. That's fine. There's no issues on there. No. Okay, so send that down to Amanda, please. I'm going to say Casey. Here you go, Casey. <laughs> Okay, Jim, you're all set. Thank you very much. Are, you, very good. Good are you here for a building permit? Um, for okay. Good. Uh, were you here first? I don't know who was here first. Uh, you're here for a building permit? Come on up, sign in, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yep, sorry. Existing pool already? Yeah, it collapsed two months ago. Okay. And there's this detailed amount we could provide for you. Sure. What's the address? 13 Lane Brook Circle. 13 Lane Brook. I'm curious, why did, why did it collapse? What was the cause? Um, we had repair work done on it about nine years ago, right around the skimmer. Mm -hmm. We did pro and play that and we do well. Is it Lanebrook or Lanebrook? Uh, 13 Lanebrook. What, was it ice ice related? Did the ice expand so the ice blew it apart? Popped it right out. I got you. You're replacing that pool right there? 18 years. It was there when we moved in. That pool right there? That's pretty good for a steel pool. Because sometimes people put... You're going to see the pool behind the blue dot. Yeah, that would be good. Exact same spot? Exact same spot. The, uh, same size. The depth yeah. is already there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, make a motion to approve for a pool replacement at 13 Lane Brook. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 What Aye. I was saying is sometimes people put these anchored balloons in the middle of pools to uh, prevent Aye. ice from. Did you do that? Yeah. Hmm. It, it didn't deflate or anything. Really? I really? It was because of that. The corrosion. The uh, corrosion of the steel. Hmm. Well, hopefully this one will last a lot longer. Well, it's a long time. That's a good sign. Yours. Okay, sir. Thank you. Good luck with your project. Bye -bye. You too. Come on in. Sign in, please. Property address? It's uh, one meadow Glen drive. Above ground pool? Ground. In ground, nice. Okay. So that's what I think. Okay. That's near, uh, okay, go over, yep. Right off cover. Yep. I don't see any issues there. No. no. Uh, 
Bill, do you see any issues with that? No, it's on Meadow Glen, which is the old Hallahan subdivision yep. off of Chicopee or Carver Street. Yep. That's fine. There's no wetlands in that. Not, not in that There's general, not, not in that particular area. And what was okay. the size, just for my? Again, uh, again it's high water table. High water table, yes. 40 by 15. Okay. And I have a, Sure. Is that an above ground or in ground pool? In, 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 ground. Oh, in ground again. Watch your water table. Yeah, no, I don't know. That's what I've told already. Okay. Bill, let's try this side. That's fine. Us. Very good. Thank you. Make a motion to approve for an in ground pool located okay. oh, at one metal line. A second. All, All in favor? favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Got your permit? Yeah. Your application, your permit? I just need. <coughs> yeah, yep. I couldn't get any permits without that. I was still letting you come yep. here before I can move forward. Bill. 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 Uh, is there anyone else here for, here for building permits? Kevin, you're not here for that, correct? No, that's correct. Uh, are you here for a building permit? Or, okay. If, Kevin, you're signed in, correct? Signed in. Okay. If you're gonna uh, present anything, could you sign in? When, yes. when you get a chance, please? Thank you. Okay, 712, we'll go to administrative duties. Commentary, anybody? We're not going to be talking about the um, Bow and Gun Club at all, are we? I could throw we that can, into commentary. I did a site visit of their waddles. At the Gun Club? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll hold They're on not on the agenda. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take those at 7.30. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll talk about oh, that's that later. Any other commentary? No. Let's post the next meeting for April 24th, 2018. Okay. No, the only commentary is I thank Granby of Public TV for showing up again tonight. Alex, good to see you. And, and I commented the audio came out very nicely on last week's uh, broadcast. High quality audio. I didn't see it. Nothing but the best. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> for the boys in the trenches, as they used to say. So are your meetings posted for April 24th? Yep. Thank you. We have the minutes for our March 27th? Uh, yes. Oh, do you have them on the flash drive? Do you have the March 27th minutes? It should be on the flash drive. If not, we'll just postpone them. No, go to the left. Right here. Click that. It should be the proposed. Yeah, it should be those. Great. Those should be the rough out. Yep. Who is in attendance? Blow it up anymore? I can see it okay. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Can you see it, Ed? Yes. Oh. Sorry, as soon as I pushed the down button, it went away. My formatting is all messed up. Amanda received a uh, email regarding the uh, 1185 on the financials. Yeah. And what was it? A part of it was Casey. Um, Casey, and then the rest of it was uh, to file at the Registry of Deeds for the Forge Pond Dam. Recording mm -hmm. fees. Yeah. That's a pretty stiff recording. I think it's. I thought it was $75 a page, possibly. Yeah. I'm not sure. It must have been many pages now. Kevin, are you representing uh, Mr. Collette tonight? No. Any? I don't see any jumping out. Great. 
Second. I make a motion we approve them as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Print up four, is it four or three sets? I think it's three. Okay. Bills to pay. I do not see anything in here. I went through this earlier. And do not have any bills. Do you have any invoices or bills? Actually, one, one bill related item. Sure. Um, Amanda, did you purchase a Munsell book yet? No. Here, here's what I'm thinking, Ed. Does it make sense for the commission to purchase its own Monsell book and we'll have it in house and then Amanda can borrow it when she goes on site visits? I guess. Well, we'll we're, we, we're allowed we, to purchase uh, items that will be used that's in right, the field. That's sure. right, that's right, right. It's, it's not frivolous. Well, let's talk about it a little later. There's a couple other ways. You can do the, there's another model, um, Amanda. We, we what is it, Earth Colors? Globe. Or? It, it was the one globe. Remember, we looked it up. Okay, it's like and it's, sixty dollars. Yeah, it's significantly cheaper because I yes. think the Monsell books over like two hundred dollars now. They, yeah, they've yeah, gotten. Yeah, so maybe we can buy the uh, more inexpensive model. Anyway, we'll talk about that. In a bit. So I don't have any bills to pay here. So which printer is this? It's an HP, I think. Oh, I'm not even plugged in. I keep doing that last time too. Okay. Financial accounts. I have one a financial statement dated four nine two thousand eighteen. We're still carrying $260 from a VHB submittal. CBS? Yeah, which, which was about seven years ago. Why don't we, uh, I thought we had to release that. Do you want me to contact Furman and ask him to send an email to that effect? And then once sure. we have the email, we'll give it to Steve Nally. And he can cut him a check for two sixty. Yeah, that's that's not our money, anyways. We have that's right. Answer. Exactly. Okay. I'll, I'll so you'll call Mr. Furman. I will. That's not. Yeah, we'll put okay. it in later. We'll tap it. Okay, great. I'll bring a larger binder for next week. Okay, I was just trying to, because I used last week's template so mm -hmm. that I didn't have to type everything from hand. Sure. So. You got time. Actually, while you're doing that,
think um, cut up for the most part. The sign-in sheet, Bill. Hmm? The sign-in sheet, you want to grab it? Oh, yes. Continue on with the administrative duties. You all set? Yep. Education, outreach. Nobody has anything to add? Yep. Bill, you were talking about the Munsell. Yes, I'm so, thinking um, we might want to purchase a book for the uh, use of the commission. And um, Amanda, what's the brand that's more economical? Globe. Globe. G-L-O-B-E. -E. So do we need to make a motion to purchase that? Do we have... Uh, the sky, general right? cost. So anywhere from sixty-five to a hundred dollars. Yeah. So Ben Meadows plus, plus shipping. How about uh, eBay? Is it cheaper on eBay? Well, sometimes there's also like forestry supply sixty-five. eBay is actually one fifteen. Oh, it is more. Okay. Do, do the globe? Does that have the hydric soil uh, pages? Um, it's the, the, all, gla the glade soil it has all the grays. The glade yeah. soil. Yeah. Okay. As long as it has the glade, because that's kind of where we're at. It was at one with of the, the ones they, they shared at our okay. the, um, training I went to. You want? Uh, I'll make a motion then to uh, expend up to a hundred dollars for a soil <coughs> uh, evaluation book or soil. Uh, what do you want to call it? Muscle or yeah, muscle color, or color chart, color chart, soil, soil color, color chart. I second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? And you said? Oh, up to? You said no more than $100. No more than $100. Okay. okay. So I think that you should be able to find something. Yeah, no, that, that should range. be fine. I just want to put the wording okay. properly on the page. So do you want to order that, Amanda? We'll reimburse you. Or do you um, want me to do it? Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Why don't you do it, Bill? I'll Either do it. Way is fine. Yeah. Then we'll have Chris. Uh, okay. We'll I can I can buy it with PayPal. It'll be two, take sure. me two seconds. Okay. No problem. That's our ed outreach education, ZBAs, uh, planning board, and other notices. <clears throat> I have a uh, forest cutting plan. Located at uh, Bachelor Street, landowner Kevin and Nancy Brooks. Plan prepared, John Edwards. Where's the property? It's Mr. Brooks' oh, property. Oh, oh, it's behind the barn? Yeah. Next to your daughter's house? No, behind. Behind it? Three hundred and thirteen thousand. Am I here? Sure. Wow. Oops. What's the dominant species? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mixed hardwood. Mixed hardwood, hemlock, hmm. Wow. All right. This one is. Now we're getting notice, notices for Southampton. Location, Southampton. Crook, crooked Ledge, former Russellville Roads. What? I think he said it by mistake. Oh, uh, that's by mistake. Somehow let Kathy know, maybe. Oh, this uh, I've got, got a sticky note. Yeah, just wrong, wrong town. Okay. Okay, have you got four stream crossings there? Uh, it's a... How are they going to accomplish those? Well, we're waiting for proposals to come back from there. There's culverts in those places, so I really don't want to go with culverts because it's the kind of way we've got them all. What's the nominal width of the stream? The perennial waterway is approximately when they cross, it's about 18 inches. All right. 
So putting in a steel plate or or, or some timbers. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Got a so uh, temporary crossing. Yeah. Notification from Eversource dated 315 2018 regarding uh, 2018 yearly operational plan submittal. Uh, talking about their right of ways management regulations. Uh, they're notifying the Board of Health, Conservation Commission, et cetera, uh, regarding their continuing maintenance. Yeah. Weren't they yeah. here about a month ago before? Yeah, they, they were yeah. here last year for some other. Is it vegetation control, Ed? Yeah. Vegetation control, Ed, yeah. vegetation control yeah. mostly? Mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to read through that, yeah. scroll through the bottom. It's, it talks about, uh, you can go to their webpage, mm -hmm. www.eversource.com. Under municipal and state officials heading, click transmission, vegetation management. Scroll to the bottom and click yearly operational plan. So, I guess if you go to the web page, we can access it from there. Okay. Yeah, they'll be spraying, uh, applying herbicides. All herbicides used are approved by the Federal Environmental Protection Agency and Mass Pesticide Board for use in right of ways, general and sensitive areas. Okay. The fact sheets are available on the 2018 yearly operational plan referenced above. <clears throat> Copies may be available upon request from whom? Eversource? Yeah, I think if you go to their webpage, it lists Yeah. The oh, I see it, yeah. 55 Russell Street, Hadley, Mass. So if any of viewers tonight want to inquire about this, uh, go to Eversource Distribution Arborist, 55 Russell Street in Hadley, Mass. Thank you. Uh, well, item 10, site visits to be scheduled. We'll talk about that after the public hearings. Okay. If you're going to talk tonight, please sign in. If you're, yeah, sign in, please, if you're going to talk. Where is that? Right there. Can you spell your name with an I or a Y? Hmm? Your name. First name. Y. Oh, it's Patricia legally. Patty. Little Y. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. You're here at like 720, right? 720. Yep. Perfect. It's dine, dining with the commission. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's funny. I, I'm, I'm just busting your traps, but Wenda did the same thing last week. She was eating her lunch while televised. It's fine, though. No, I saw that, and I was like, well, I won't be eating anything now. That's healthy stuff, The new too. TV it program, is. Dining with the Commish. I will, I will just sip my coffee and struggle. So eat, your, eat your salad for crying I out loud. I can't do that. I'm too self-conscious. It's, it's noodles and no, not good. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> 730, 730. Yep. public hearings. Okay, we have discussion. Uh, 730, 735 discussion, the Grammy Belch Town Concerned Citizen Group. Anybody here from that? Right, let's just sit quietly for five. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue on, though. I think we'll just, <clears throat> if they come in, they come in. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> 735, uh, Forge Pond. Let's talk about Forge Pond. Is that moving forward? I, t I talked to Kathy by telephone uh, last week, and um, I asked to uh, get an appointment with the select board to discuss the concept that Amanda had uh, uh, brought to light regarding decommissioning of Forge Pond Dam. Have they uh, responded? I haven't heard anything yet. And I think, when, does, when do they meet, Mondays or Wednesdays? Monday. Mondays? Typically. Yeah, all right, I'll have, to, I'll have to follow up with Kathy. But are you guys on board with a, at least investigating the possibility oh, of the sure. decommission? We have to open up every option, okay. whether it's decommissioning right. or repairing. Uh, Still have to find the money are. somewhere. So right, <laughs> either way. Either way. All right, we'll follow up on that. And regarding that, also, uh, Dave Leonard, um, has he been um, in contact with anyone regarding the uh, the phase one extension? 
I last I had an email a while back, and I said, you know, I think it was prudent to just to do the phase one mm -hmm. uh, update uh, because we weren't in compliance at that point. So you need to. I thought I had authorized him to do that Effective. because it was under it was it was a nominal fee. It wasn't much. I'll send them an email right now yeah. to that effect. I mean, to do the phase two study, I think that has to go out for an RFP. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. So that has to go out for yeah. bids. Yeah. So, so you need to contact Mr. Lenard. Nice. Yes. Should have a quick email. Yes, right now I am. It was David who? Or what was the Lenard, name? L-E-N-E-R-T, -L -L -E -E I believe. Okay, done. All right, let's continue on with the 730. Uh, this continuation of the uh, 730 of RD, request for determination of applicability filed by Jeffrey Bassett to see whether the work depicted on plans referenced is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to a proposed repair work on an existing septic system that is over 80 plus or minus feet from the resource area located at 117 Amherst Street, known as map 2B-14 in the town of Granby. So Mr. Uh, there he is. Yes. Um, can, can Kevin, you, Kevin, if you would tonight, uh, speak into the microphone, please. Speak into the microphone. Oh. So we've had two members of the commission go out there on site and look at the silt fence. Uh, the silt fence has been extended <clears throat> on the northern side. <clears throat> Just as a show and tell, this is what was proposed. It now extends up to here, another 80, 80, 80 feet or so. Up along the property line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, most, the, the direction is downhill. But, you know, over here you could get, get some spillage. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the other issue was uh, staking the waddles in place. They've all been staked. I verified that this afternoon. Okay. Good. Thank you. So okay. that, they, that, it looks good. Better than that the was water. the only concern I heard was the waddles. Yeah. So, yeah. it's just fine. Okay. Did we approve it at last meeting or did we continue? No, we did not approve it. We continued. It. All right. So, just we'll continue. continue. I move we approve it then at this point. I second. Any, any special conditions? Usual or just no? This is just an RDA. Yeah. Right. All in favor? I, I'd probably recommend leaving the waddles in place after construction until the table. grass pops. Yeah, yeah, which might be so for several second months. Second on the table. All in mm -hmm. favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Do we have a built permit we have signed for your building permit or no? Yeah. Board of Health permit. You're all set? Yeah. So, you're all set? Yeah. Now, we have to, um, this was an RDA, so we RDA have to actually to fill it out. Our, our it's going to be a negative three. Yeah, in determination. Want to wait for that, or do you want to? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Sometime tonight. We have um, 10 minutes till our next hearing. Sure. Let's pull that up. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the form? It, there should be, um, if you have to go online, Amanda, go to, yeah, go to Mass DEP. <clears throat> oh, you don't have it on the tab already? I should. No, I have, I have it on the computer because I almost used that. Oh, okay. So I have to use the computer. Uh, Mass DEP? Yep. Yep. And then click on, um, 
Yeah, well, laws and rules will take yeah, you there. Yeah, you'll find the forms. And then if you want to do a search on WPA2. Is it still glitchy hmm? from using it from Word and different forms of it? It's, it's, it's better than it used to be, actually. Okay. Is it this? No. no. Yeah. It's under forms, I think. It's under forms. Yeah, they changed the web page. Yeah, it's right? really, it's more awkward to use. It used to be, it used to be a pretty little familiar more. with it. It's a pain in the neck. The state all did right. that with all their forms. There you go. Right, there you go. Which one? No, it's not, it says tax forms. It says tax forms. Tax forms. No. We should have another form in there. Do you have any old forms on your uh, computer? Yeah, let me you know, on, the, on the flash drive. Well, there should be plenty on the flash drive. Right. Um, if you look at the flash drive. Wouldn't it be under um, water resource rules? Actually, if you search on mass, Amen. Yeah. Mass space DEP space WPA space two. And then you go to the second entry. It gives you WPA form one. And if you have the form one, the form two should be right next to it. Mass what? Um, mass space DEP space WPA space two. Well, click on WPA form one, and then uh, it should it should bring you. It, it'll it'll bring you into the other two. Why do they have to change a perfectly good website? <coughs> it's not yeah, in there. They didn't list all the they forms. They list all the forms. <laughs> They've taken away the form page. Very poor. Do you have one on your flash drive? Yeah, but they're all made out. It's yeah. either in PDF form. And they're all fill yeah, that's what I'm saying. They all go PDF. It's all fillable, but you should be able to open it and then save it as this Amherst Street. Mm -hmm. Not quite that easy. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Wetland permitting forms. Where? Well, it's, in, it's number four in my laundry list. <laughs> But I'm using a different well, search engine than I think a man. Oh, there you go. You got it. Okay. Are you using it? Yep. Yep. Okay. You should be all set. And why resource delineation? Determination of applicability. There you go. Top one. Oh, wait. Oops. My computer just. Uh, okay. There you go. Ready? Number two. Number two. Yeah. Bingo. Save it to your computer. That way you can pull out the next time. <clears throat> there we are. Very good. Randy. Yeah. Applicant. Uh, you can just borrow. What's his first name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bassett. Have you got your power yep. there? Here you go. Coming at you. Ah, uh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, we just transpose and then we just have to. We're gonna do a neg three. Is that what you I think so, yeah. Yeah, negative so three. Is that what you guys made a motion on? Well, let's read it. Yeah, negative three is working no, buffer. I wrote it down in my notes. Do I use? Yeah, no. Yep. Great. Yeah, so no, property only notes. only matters if you have like a development. Those are. Oh wait a minute! Should she put the that over there because it's the property is different from the app? Like the that's what I wasn't sure about. Yeah, just put same versus property on it. Well, it says only do this if it's different. If different from app, yeah. No, different. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. So we'll leave it there. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay.
I'm looking for C project. It's got maps and sensor C. Kevin, you still typing these? Yes. Oh. Uh, that would be a uh, uh, repair septic system designed for 117 EMS. I mean, this line right here. That's the plan. Okay, right here. Oh, I see why. Because there's extra lines on his. Yeah, the next one will be like the uh, title. U.S. topographic. Yep, yeah, U.S. Okay, I see where it is. You know what, it's, it's all this typing that's got me all. Yeah. Um, I have no idea I'm doing it, so. No, I'm still reading that. Uh, do you type underneath, or just keep typing? Oh, you can keep typing. You can keep typing, it'll keep going. Okay. It, it's kind of... <laughs> it'll probably... Okay, no, that has to be a separate line. Separate line. It's after uh, Grammy Mass backup. Yep. Uh, oh my gosh. Mm. But just after that, go dated uh, December. 12th. I think she has a tab for that one, or she'll lose it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Is it? Oh, this one's not a heavy one. Yeah, that's a, go ahead. That's fine. Right. Yeah. So date, date 12th, December 2017. 17, yep. Uh, yes. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, USGS topographic map. Just, yeah, MA fine. quad drawing number. The drawing number refers to the, to the plan of all. We're trying to translate this technology and having some technical difficulties. I, I want to give a shameless plug out to Cumberland Farms. Well, Farm, that's, like, that's like the physician's offices. Remember three or four years ago, all the physicians wanted to dig digitize oh, patients' records? Yeah. They did, I got my, um, I had my chart oh, once, sorry, then they abandoned the whole project. No, you don't have date there. No, this is, yeah, date files. Is that, yeah. Uh, determine. Ah, here's a cell. Oh, no, we don't need. Okay, great. Yep. You might want to put a condition in that Waddle shall remain in place until third mowing of newly established turf. I think that goes at the end. Okay, is there a spot for that? I believe at the end. Uh, just <laughs> two. Two. And parcel number um, B14. Okay. Okay, now oh, it's still funky. All right, so here's where we are. Hold on, wait. Not pause it. 
positive, so scroll through the positives. Go back up. Are you sure? Well, never mind. Did we, no, those are also the positives. Is that what Negatives. Okay. Yes. So Negatives here's our choices. Yep. The work described in the <coughs> within the buffer zone that is defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to the Protection Act. Therefore, said work does not require filling of notice by the notice of tent subject to the following conditions, if any. This is where you put the condition. Okay. So that the waddles need to make, be left in place until the grass seeds or until it sprouts. Well, I would say until the third mowing, typically. But, yeah. If you wait for it to sprout, it's still going to carry a lot of sun. Yeah. It's still Stabilized. So it runs. Stabilized and the grass is established. That leaves it a, with the snow going, who knows yeah. when that'll be now. Uh, the grass is established. That's the only condition we have. <coughs> Authorizations and we're doing home delivery. Because that's it and today's date. Anything else we need, I think? It's good to me. Looks good to us. And we'll sign. Kev, did, did they pay their filing fee? No, that's a, um, that's a different thing. Okay. That's all, that's all, that's under the appeals if they don't agree with us. Okay. We don't have to worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pass it on and sign it. Just one copy or one copy? Um, one copy for the board, one copy for... At, at least, I think three is prudent. Oh, one to Kathy. Assigned, we want to get back on schedule or yeah, minutes? let's let's sign this room. Get, I don't think anybody's here for 7 45. Oh, no one's here. I don't think Do I have so. to make a motion to continue? No, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna still announce it and see if anybody's here. Okay, we'll just sign them and get them out of here. Page off. All right, here it is. The top. Thank you. Yep. And what is it? The numbers are not too. Oh, because so yeah, because that's the appeal. For the file, one for the yeah, for there. Okay. I'll take one of those. This, well, this is part of that. Mm -hmm.
Kevin, you're all set. Rob, you hand one off to Kevin, please. Yeah, thank you. Are you here for anything else? Uh, let's go report on. Okay, we'll get to that. Or? Yeah, we'll get to that then. Uh, 745 notice filed, uh, continuation of a notice, fi notice of intent filed by Mike Peel, PC Development LLC, for proposed construction of a residential subdivision and associated stormwater management structures. The roadway will require a wetland fill and open channel crossing with regards to property located on Carver Street, known as map 16B. 15.4 and 16 in the town of Granby. Is anybody here for uh, Mike P.O.'s development? Uh, seeing no one here, make a motion to continue the meeting. Second. To the next meeting, uh, April 24th. S motion seconded. All in favor? All right. Continued. Continuing on with the 730 appointments, uh, I see Leo Fugler is here on top at 730. Kevin, you want to give us the uh, rundown, yeah. please? We removed the, the material that was uh, designated by the commission. Uh, Winda has been on site. She wanted some more removed. That's been done. Uh, the vegetation has been planted and it's been seeded. Um, Obviously, we're not getting any yeah. growth yet, but but we're in good shape over there. So, Amanda, if you'd be so kind, on the flash drive, there's a folder for the project. I took several photos this afternoon. Oh, did you get over there this afternoon? I did. Yes. Good. And I'll come back to the commission with some grassy photos. Oh, it's, it's down. Yeah. It's, it's at the bottom. The 410. There you go. Yep. Seven East Street. Okay, that's it. You could blow those up. Kev, if you could uh, talk us through yep. these. Okay. This is looking straight ahead to the east, I guess. Yes. Um, there are 10, 10 stumps that we identified and we left them in place. This is typical right here. Uh, we cleaned out around it and left it. Ke Kev, if you could, if you could stand to the right of the screen, Kev. The folks at home can't see the screen. Right. Okay. So that's one stump. Here's the second stump. Uh, but it shows we've gone right down to uh, right down to the water table. Uh, yeah, I saw five or six hundred areas. Puddles, yeah. Yep. Yeah. When she f scrolls through these, you'll see some yep. of the other features. Okay. See. Yep. Yeah, so we've got, we've got some, this is a flag that shows where the wetland line was. There's no four flags place. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're still there. And you've got a stump here, here, and here. There's a total of 10. Now the way, the way we're running them, it's they're, they're difficult to identify. But they're all there. So we're waiting for, we, we, we seeded the lower part of it with a wetland mix and uh, You can see the standing water and the puddles. So those are your pits, I, I would guess. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to the mounds. Yeah. Kev, you didn't put any, did you drill any auger holes to see where the water table is? Obviously you know where the water table is at the, uh, at we, that we, particular We knew point. that right from the get-go. Okay. Uh, last May when we were digging out okay. there, we um, and here are some of the pits that we figured it was worth doing. If you, if you climb out there, bring your muckers. You know, it's right now special. They don't know what we thought. That's easy. Mm -hmm. See, there's another, another wetland flag there. This is, this is the boundary right Right here, we want that flag as a property. I think I'm back to the yeah. So we put in uh, five uh, wood maples, six uh, winterberry, and two red bruzia dogwood. Dogwood, yes. And they don't show up on the, on the photo. 
I had a tough time seeing them when I was physically on the yeah. side. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. Chip. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess your next. Um, any other plantings need be done? Are there, there's other plantings, correct? Or are all the plantings in? At this point, yes. We're, okay. we're going to see what pops. Okay. All right. And then you'll do an evaluation late fall, and you'll overplant yeah. or overseed as necessary. Again, you got a two-year window. You got a two-year window to get seventy-five percent percent grow in. I, I believe on your last order, you want to report by the twelfth of June. Oh, okay. I'm going off the top of my head, but by then we'll have some some good, better visuals. All right. We'll go take some photos at that point. Mm. Thank you. Sounds good. Yeah, they turned out really good. Very diligent in getting to it. And the neighbor, I think, is happy. He, okay. he was very eager to have us get going. So. Sounds good. All right, thank you, Kevin. Yep. Uh, got a continuation of a Kestrel Trust 307, Chigarby Street. Uh, Amanda, that's something that you're working on? Yes, I have heard from um, Chris. Kestrel? About. Kestrel has not contacted? <clears throat> so I'm mm -hmm. trying to actually turn off, which I usually don't think it's off. So we'll see who we'll she'll... Call. Last time I just stopped by the office. Because I emailed her and I hadn't heard from her. And it's my day off and I ended up catching her, which is good. No one here is for the uh, Kestrel Trust 307, Chigarby Street? Okay. Uh, continuation certificate of compliance, children's first, same thing. Uh, continue to the next meeting. Uh, 98 Cold Hill complaint. Uh, is there anybody here for 98 Cold Hill? Mr. Uh, Colette was supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm going to send him an email right now. He wants to come in with a modified. Yeah, he wants to amend. To, he wants to amend his NOI, yeah. which is kind of a wooden, it's a semi-lengthy process. It's not quite that simple. Understood. Uh, I thought we'd ask him to be here at this meeting. I've been speaking to him, but he didn't indicate that to me. So we're going to read. Better designate the channel and then re-engineer the 11 foot long culvert. Culvert or bridge is what it was, but we're probably, at this point, we've discussed with David Follis about putting a uh, elliptical culvert in there. Uh, but we've got to do the open space and all that stuff to make sure it complies. Have you, have you been retained by Mr. Collette? Not officially yet, okay. but I'm coming close. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I just sent Dave an email. So, make a note that uh, <clears throat> Bill has sent uh, Mr. Cullet an email reminding him of uh, his request to come to the conservation meeting. Uh, for, did you tell him for April 24th? Well, I just asked him if he's going to come in tonight. And All if right, he doesn't he come in tonight, then we'll have him come in. All right, if he doesn't show up by the time we close the hearing, mm -hmm. that's fine. We'll, but we'll have Mr. Collette be notified again for the uh, April 24th. Yep, yeah, we'll do. Thank you. Uh, number seven, Philip Circle complaint. Is anybody here for seven, Philip? Are you the owner? Or I am. You're the owner. Okay. I, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we were notified that there was some filling or some topsoil that was brought to the site and uh, DEP has since looked at it. And uh, Bill, I don't know if you want to, you were at the site. I physically was at Yeah, the I've site. been to the site. We, on the flash drive again, Amanda, we do have a folder with some photos. Um, I got wind of the project from uh, Mr. Stinson. There was an email from DEP. I went over to the site. It's not far from my house. And um, 
I did see that it looked like Mr. Bernier wanted to reseed his entire lawn and uh, there was no a silt fence put up at the time. I called Nick up the, a day later, asked him to put in the straw wattles. And again, Amanda, you'll scroll through, I think, four photographs mm -hmm. showing the wattles to be uh, significantly uh, uh, surrounding the affected area. Um, we still have a couple of issues to, to discuss regarding the project. But when I went to the site, there were six or seven loads of topsoil in the front yard right adjacent to Phillips Circle, right off the pavement. There was no, uh, no topsoil uh, piles out back, though there had been disturbance. In fact, if you look at this particular photograph out toward the lone tree out in the back lawn, um, there's some, looks like hay or straw uh, protecting the topsoil out in the backyard. And that's beyond right. that, yes. That's, what's, that's all hay? Yeah, it's hay or straw. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't uh, distinguish the difference. But out back, you'll see some straw wattles uh, protecting against the soil erosion in the backyard. Do we have an outstanding order of conditions on this property? I think we had, Kevin, had you been engaged by Mr. Uh, Bernier in the past? No. May I ask a question of, of the, sure. the crowd? Mr. Nick, Nick did we, we had an enforcement against you a few years ago to move a shed. Yeah. And you did that, correct? Mm -hmm. What year was that? <coughs> And I think we had a set of photographs. We had some photos pursuant to that particular project. And I believe we did some um, soil holes, some auger holes. Because I guess the question that Mr. Stinson wants is whether or not work was done in the wetland proper. Sure. But I think we addressed that four years ago. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not, Patty, were you involved with that? Yeah, I can't remember um, what was the term, I remember the moving of the shed. Okay. Now, um, in the spirit of fairness, of course, I think, um, Ms. Garza, um, you're aware of the situation. Did you have any <coughs> comments on this project? Yes, I did. Yes, if you'd come on, up and... Uh, on, yeah. I'm sorry, my, Mr. Bernier. Bernier uh, He's just, the homeowner. You're the homeowner, the property owner. Uh, over there. So mm -hmm. you've already signed in, right, Mr. Bernier? Mm -hmm. Okay. Really. And just introduce yourself, yeah, name yeah. and address, please. My name is... I have a hearing problems, so it's kind of echoing in here. I'm having a hard time. Okay. Um, my name is Cindy Gazda. I live at 21 Jennifer Drive. I've been living there since 1996, 22 years. Um, I knew the previous homeowner prior to him, and I used to work for the town of Granby. And our fire pond is at the top of the street, and I live at the end of the street of Jennifer. And Prior to him moving in, the guy that used to live there, which I could get all the documentation, they, he tried to be able to get, from the side of his garage, he tried to be able to get just a couple trees removed so that he could get in his backyard, and he couldn't even do that because it was within the 100 feet of the wetlands. So when he had moved in, all of a sudden we see all kinds of trees coming down. I have pictures of three years ago, I have pictures of two years ago, and I have pictures of now. He ended up doing what he did just recently on Friday, approximately 4 p.m., which is exactly when after the town has closed and I had no recourse to go to the town to be able to have the town come out and see it prior to him putting everything down. I have pictures though of how many piles of uh, sod or not sod, dirt that he had taken from his front yard and brought over to the backyard and put all along where the wetlands is. I have um, pictures of what it, how close the trees used to be to his garage. He's been doing this over the past maybe four years, five years he's been trimming a little bit, trimming a little bit, trimming a little bit, and you could see the progression from what it used to look like to what it looks like now. Like literally you could see spaces this big between trees. And you could also see, if you, on your pictures that you had up there, where he has all that hay is where he ended up putting all that soil and pushed it back. He keeps on going back farther and farther. 
And he's also, because it used to be all the way up to where the slant of that, do you see where those bushes are? All the wetlands used to be all the way up to the slant of that. And trees used to be up to the slant of where that garage was, is where the slant goes down. All that's been filled in. He's made his yard bigger and bigger and bigger, and also he's trimmed up all the little saplings that are inside the wetlands, and he's cleaned up all the briar bushes, and he's also put in a big, huge tube to where the, the water flows through. And <coughs> because of him doing this, it's now backing up in my backyard because it's not flowing properly, because the wetlands are bigger than that little stream. The wetlands are wider, and it flows through the ground and down to the, the, um, the fire pond. So if you would like to please take a look at the pictures that I have. Um, Bill, was there a culvert on the property that you could see? There's two, and you can see if you pick up Google Earth, you could see where his land used to be. And he had a little piece of board that used to go across the stream. And now he has a culvert, or whatever you want to call it, a circle. And to answer your question, I did not see a culvert. Uh, okay. There's, any what? There's no culverts on my property. Well, a circle, Zero. whatever it is. that Zero. He now can go from the front of his, this side of his property across the wetlands to the other side of his property. He can now drive a vehicle back there. Couldn't do that before. Amanda, you might call up the mass GIS weapons later, please. Okay. Thank you. Here is the- Are these identical photos? These yes, are of what he's looking at, and here's identical photos of- Mr. Burrier, did you want to look at these photos? What did you want to look at them? Sure. They're, they're being presented. That's. Did he? Uh, you could see the piles. You could see how you could see through the bushes now. This was be prior. And look at what it looks like now. I have more than one person on. It, it, it was short notice, so I have more than one person that has complained to the town three years ago when he first, not first, but when he really ended up getting to where you could look right through his property. Now he's planted these nice little bushes, those, I think they're called Aberdites or uh, oh, Arborbites. Yeah, white cedar, white cedar. White cedar. White cedar. No, no, like these those, things, these yeah, things. he's planted those so that he could put this wall up so that he could make it so that we can't see in of what he's doing anymore. Because there was a complaint a few years ago. And this is, this is what it used, how close it used to be. This is from Google Earth. This is from Google Earth. This is how close it used to be to his garage. He's done all that. We've. You just want to look at this, Mr. Burnier, for if, if that's. I mean, I want to figure out my backlink too. Okay. Let's all do it on Jennifer. I did have a conversation with him when I was taking some of the pictures recently. Um, I did have a conversation with him. He tells me that I pay $6,500 $6, worth of taxes, so I should be able to do what I want with my land. I'm not taking any maple down. I have conversations with her. All right, it's not, it's not, we're not going to go over It's just one of them, exactly. Uh, what I've been, there's been some correspondence with uh, DEP and the Conservation Commission regarding this project. They've supplied some infrared uh, imagery on changes in, in the land. So I don't know if the, uh, well, I don't, we may have to do an enforcement order at this time or we may have to come in with a uh, RDA or a notice of intent to, uh, for this project. So, is that the photos? Are you done looking at those photos? You can see how big it used to be. So, Google Earth is an instant. It's like a year or two. Right, right, that's right. And I did turn around and complain about it about three years ago, 
and they said that they had come out and looked at it, and I also contacted Boston at the same time that I complained about it three years ago. I contacted Boston because I didn't know whether or not, because he has a business and he has pools, so I didn't know whether or not the job was actually going to get done, so I called Boston, like I did this time. And did you want to look at the infrared? Because Mark had sent Mark, Mr. Stinson had sent those. Amanda, do you have those? I'll send them to you, right? Yeah, yeah. send them. Okay. The guy that I spoke to at DEP told me that there's times, because I said, he's putting, you could see the piles. You could see the piles of stuff. Well, I said he's putting it in. And he goes, just, well, we've made people uh, restore wetlands before. Let's see what so the I said, uh, okay. email has. We, that, that particular area that I'm talking about goes between Phillips Circle and Jennifer Drive all the way down between our houses. Mm -hmm. And there's like three other people that said, if he gets away with it, we'll Mr. Chairman, sure. uh, Kevin Brooks, prior to the, the current owner, I did some work out there for Mr. Brown. I don't know, it's, do you remember him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably... Seven, eight years ago, something like that. Same, what, same address? Okay. So you've got, and, and it's true that the wetlands <coughs> designation is, we're past the three years, but you've got a basement <coughs> in, in your files now. So. That was permitted back when it was first developed, too. Yeah. Wetlands were delineated back then. Yeah. But I also complained about it two years ago. <coughs> And if you go over there and look at it now, he would see the difference then. Right there, he would see the difference. You could take a look at the pictures if you'd like to see the pictures. Whatever his name is. I mean, it's getting worse and worse and worse. The, the only thing left is big trees. Now these are images that were sent by Mass DEP, what Springfield. It's no longer up against his garage like that. These images were sent, Mr. Bernier, by DEP. So. What was the date of that photo? This one's 2001. 2001. Okay. So that's 17 years ago. So according to the IP, they consider that blue line, I believe, to be the designated wetland line? Yeah. Very likely so. Mm -hmm. That's what they're calling it. So any activity inside that line would require a notice of intent for no activity inside that line. Mm -hmm. I've had it done. Hold on. Continue with those yeah, let's look at all the photos first. Okay. Let's see here. It's right up on the side. It's right there. Go ahead. Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. The DEP has north. Rock the issue up with the There's no activity inside that line. The shed's gone. I'm going to say it's all on right now. That's what we're saying. So DEP has pointed that out to us. So I'm not sure what that, that was that was part of the situation from three or four years ago. Exactly, which was whether or not that top part of the line is accurate or not, and I don't know if it is or, or it is not accurate. But I recall that Nick had the shed to the left of the blue line, and he moved it. I'm just <laughs> telling you what DEP is telling. They they, they consider that a team issue. So, so when the shed when the shed went away, you had to move it out. I mean, what did you expect to go there? But grass or. You know, well, to continue to mow it would be right. continue to be grass. That's if, if you let let it go natural, it would probably restore itself. Right. Um, there's, you know, there's a big hole there, and and look, is Mark's calling out is 2,400 square feet of uh, wetland mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's more up on the side of the from the street to your blue line. There's, so I think it's farther back now. I've been mowing everything on Phillips Circle for as long as I've been there since 2005. Okay. Regrading the grass. It was grass. It was grass, and it will be grass. I've been mowing everything on this Phillips Circle side since I've been there in 2005. And the shed's on the other side. <coughs> Jennifer exactly. Drive. And the shed was moved out when you requested it to be. Mr. Chairman. Sure. I have a comment. Amanda, if you would be kind enough, scroll back to the uh, photo that shows the 2,400 square foot area, if you would, please. Okay, right there. All right, according to Mr. Stinson of DEP, at least from a remote sensing point of view, that is a mapping point of view, there's a 2,400 square foot of area which is purportedly wetland. 
Um, I know as part of the enforcement that we conducted several years ago, I think we investigated part of that with respect to hydric soils, and I don't know if that is entirely accurate. I would propose to the commission that to resolve this, we would require Mr. Bernier to retain a consultant to actually delineate that particular area in the field. If it's a wetland, we'll act accordingly. If it is not a wetland, we'll act accordingly. So this would be under, this would be under a request for determination of applicability RDA, is what you're asking, to, see, to find the wetland boundaries at least. I think that makes good sense. That makes yeah, good I'm sense. I'm not sure if the record would, would count towards this time, but when I did the addition on the house, we had it done. I hired a consultant. Well, that's why I'm wondering, who did you hire, Nick? I can't remember his name. Um, he's, you're very familiar with him. He's a local Belchertown guy, maybe? Was his name Mr. Brooks? No, it wasn't Brooks. And, um, Alan Allen Weiss. Oh, Weiss. Alan Weiss, Mr. Weiss. So I, I remember, I mean, I don't have proof, but I remember the flags on the trees. And okay. The trees are still exactly there, and that's why I don't go past those flags. So I remember where the Deep. flags are. Just because that map, the, 30 years ago, maybe, you know, bigger or smaller or whatever, when we actually tested and marked my wetlands, my shed was only like one third in. And if you look at the pictures where the shed was, that kind of gives you a good idea that that blue line is actually further out than we delineated back four years ago. The shed is on the other side, not even on the blue line side. So I don't DDP, understand the shed uh, DDP's asked us to look at this a little closely. It's under, it's under the microscope. And I think the prudent thing at this point is to define your wetland boundaries and see where they are exactly by a, a competent Would my previous plan be sufficient or no? no. I think at this so point we cost me. Did we, no. no, the trick is did we check off that we were doing that in the form? No, probably not. So when you did the plan, there's, um, there's a part where you check whether we're doing the, just the project or there's also certifying. And if we didn't certify it in the plan as a check, then it doesn't count. Even if, well, how long, how long was this? It was over three years over ago. Three years. I, I think it's prudent to start from scratch on this. And again, if you elect to hire Mr. Weiss, which might be your most cost-effective solution, mm -hmm. since he probably already has a lot of the data available, mm -hmm. he can just amend his uh, previous data. Can I make one point? Mm -hmm. How do you define where that wetland is if he took all the top soil, oh, that's easy. put it down, and then put grass over it, and then put his hay over top of that, so now it's all... That's looks why like it's they grass. Grass. That's why they did they can read the colors of the soil. Okay. Use an auger, use a hand auger, and you can go down. If you, at the beginning of the meeting, we talked about getting the soil book, and that's what it basically tells us what hydric soils and stuff like that. So. And it, it measures the amount of disturbed soil, the soil below, and they can determine that from that. Because I have pictures of proof. I mean, I started pictures when I saw him start doing this. Like when he started to be able to clear out trees, clear out <laughs> In terms of, but also to be, to, be, to be in terms of where we're looking at, what we can look at is we can legally look at a line, which is what we can argue whether or not it is or isn't. Um, in terms of what's going on within this space, we can look at that and it would just be to not do any kind of pruning or any kind of removing of the saplings, which you shouldn't be doing in that area anyway, which just means leaving it alone. And that would eventually come back on its own, which is much, you know, um, what you can do. In terms of the, the fill issue, it can't be resolved until we know if there's fill within a wetlands, which we can't resolve until we know for sure where a specific line is. And, um, in terms of where we're going, we have to first go one step at a time and allow that process to proceed carefully. So the careful is, is he goes in, he has someone delineate it, he has someone do the soil samples, he comes before here, we determine where the line is and that determines if he has to, and I'm going to clarify, if he has to, how much he has to replicate and put back to its natural condition. If. 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 That's true. Right. If. And, I, and, and so we have to, in, in fairness, because there's a question of whether the line is, we have to go with what the expert says, and then what we do is we propose where the line is, and then you can monitor a line. Just for the record, I know that it doesn't count, but I am well aware of where the line is, and mm -hmm. I follow that line religiously, because mm -hmm. I've been here before. Yep. I don't want to be here. And Mr. Weiss, if I hire his services again, he'll show where that line is again, and we'll prove that this 
That's fine. The only thing problem. we do have to be mindful of in terms of where things go is, is clearing out brush and changing things and planting things within is still not allowable, even just to create a buffer or to create more. I've planted over 150 trees on my property, all different varieties, apples, arborvitaes, mm -hmm. uh, sycamores, mm -hmm. um, hawthorns, hundreds and hundreds of trees on my property. <laughs> you know. I have, well, this, and, 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 you know, I have the pictures uh, of the, the weather and, and, the, and the elements <laughs> have, have an effect on, on vegetation and trees as well. I mean, we lose, I lost a tree two days ago in the wind. We lose trees every day. I know, um, but we have to be yeah. mindful of what we add and what we delete from totally the of wetland area. Mr. Totally Chair. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's kind of wrap this up. Yep. Uh, so. Can I make one more comment before you wrap it up? If you look at his property, look at the one that's on the left and look at the one that's on the right and see the difference between untouched in touch. Okay. Because even Mr. Chair, can, can I make a comment on that? Name and address, please. My name is Philip LaFlam. I live on Philip Circle also. I grew up in this town. Before there were houses there, I was riding a horse, feeding the cows, and making hay in all of that property. All of Jennifer Drive, mm -hmm. Philip Circle, all of Dickinson Farm, I grew up farming. I know what where the, the original paths of water were. Mm -hmm. They're no different than they are, no different now than they were 20 plus years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, besides the culverts that go underneath the roads that we travel on. The only thing that I see, and as a neighbor, for Nick to be going through this problem right now, the only thing that I see that Nick has done on the property that he owns is clean up the woods, pick up broken sticks, stuff like that, branches, trees that are down, it's clean. So now, yes, if you look to the right and you look to the left, the places where homeowners have not cleaned up the woods, you can't see through them as good because he keeps his woods clean. Other than that, I honestly don't know why we're here. I don't see uh, anything. Yeah. Um, as far as water and uh, fire pond and the way the water has traveled for years, it still travels the same, and most of the water that from the fire pond is on the other side of Jennifer Drive. Nowhere in relation. The, the the stream that travels through, um, it, it comes from from South Street down through in between the fork in the road. It goes under Phillips Circle, in between Phillips Circle and Jennifer Drive, and back to the woods. I would say that's maybe 30% of the water that travels through that, that property. And the other 70% is on the other side of Jennifer Drive, where the fire pond is. There are springs that we have where there's water flowing. And completely dry summers, falls, and winters in, in the discussed area. Um, so I, I, that's the key point. You can't clean up the wetlands. Okay. I've, I've got I've got a comment. No, that's, that's completely different. Let's. Uh, and I got a comment. Um, the twenty four hundred square foot region. How many years has that been grassed? Over three years. No. Well, over. Yeah. We can look at if you look at the Google Earth photo set. We can also look at this picture. Yeah. This, this is from two thousand five. Okay. And then this is two thousand seventeen. All right. So do you have something for maybe? Because the bottom line is, it's it's current is, is, DEP's policy is anything over three years, you really don't do an enforcement action any more than three years prior. Well, I've seen. I aerated the fertilizer uh, line. It's uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> what what is DEP asking us to do? Are they asking us to do an RBA? Well, let's let's an read. An yeah, why don't we read? Let's read Mr. Stinson's correspondence, Amanda. Uh, Okay, okay, let me. Because it was up to me. There's two ways we can proceed, as, as always. You can either do an enforcement or have Nick file for an RDA after the fact. And I, that's right, that's right. And I think the RDA after the fact is probably the appropriate way to go in this, in this realm. But let's read what Stinson has to say. <clears throat> You want to read it out loud or you want to give us the cliff notes on that? I'll read it right here. 
Attached are, this is from Mark Stinson, DEP. Attached are numerous aerial photos as well as ground truth photos of an ongoing violation at the above site. At least 2,400 square feet of bordering vegetated wetland has already been filled, likely in 2015 or 2016, and we may have thousands of square feet of BVW fill going on now. Take the appropriate action and please let me know when the action is taken and then the result. So, just so, so it's really so, it's really at our discretion. So we can either do an enforcement order or we can do a uh, RDA to delineate the wetlands. I think that would be the, the prudent thing is the RDA because we don't know exactly. I, I, I do. The thing that bothers me about that is if the RDA truly comes back as Mr. Weiss had delineated five, six years ago, the same thing. Poor Nick's paying to have it done twice, and it's really not his fault. But on the other hand, if there is significant filling, then, uh, you know, obviously, that's the way it is. Let's see, what's getting in here is we have assumptions of a person who has no idea what she's talking about, and we have legal proof and documents of the past that, you know, on my property. She, she gave her assumption. Is she educated about. in wetlands? Does she know where my lines are? No. It doesn't Listen, matter where right, right, right. 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 are in between. Uh, what it looks right. like here and what let's, it looks like there and what yours looks like. We're not talking to a professional. Let me clean up my lane. Okay. You could get away with it. Let's continue this discussion until the 24th. That's um, you know what we all should do is continue so that we can pull up the previous files. Yeah, we don't have any videos. Before, before it, I might think the prudent thing is before we ask him to do anything, let's pull up all the previous files on this and review it. If, yeah, if you can bring Mr. Weiss's prop, whatever you have from that file. Have to look. Yeah, anything. if you have that deck, that would be extremely yeah, yeah. Let's get together on uh, April 24th. Yeah, so I move we continue yeah. till the 24th on this matter. Because we can see what we have. Second. People here. I will have to get back to that date. I have to check if I'm available. Okay. okay. I, I have prior commitments. DEP is looking for some result or solutions to this, and we need to either move forward, move forward with enforcement or uh, some type of if if because DEP is looking at it as a they, they're seeing that as a fill of the wetland. I think we take if we took no action. I don't think I think. Well, DEP, no, we got to do something. No, I understand I DEP would just still take over. That yeah, I think we're, it's better to keep it in house than letting the state take I'm open to your recommendations, whatever you think is best. So we'll do that. So we'll yeah. we'll do a file review. And we'll do a file weeks. review, and, and then we'll talk it. about it in two weeks. Yeah. Because if we also have the stuff on file, they, April we might be able to save him some time. It's probably right in the file. Review. What year was that? Yeah. You remember? Two thousand. Uh, I want to say four years ago. 2014 ish? It was 13 14. It's either 13 or 14 because I can remember it and he was more than willing to move yeah. the shed. So. We'll look yeah. in the uh, cabinets and yeah. pull the files yeah. out. Actually, if I look through some old minutes, I could probably find it, but it would take a while. No. That's fine. I just remember because we'll, uh, how often do you move a shed? That's why I remember it. Yeah, they're not that often. No, they're not, but you just, it's an unusual thing. You have to, I remember. So I think we're all set till. Mm -hmm. April 24th, 7:30ish. Uh, if you can't make it, if you can't make it, uh, call Kathy Leonard and let her know. Um, April 24th. April 24th, 7:30. If uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. And we'll try to get this resolved as soon as possible so that uh, it, it gets resolved. Appreciate it. So. Thank you. Okay, Can I ask one question? Am I allowed to be able to bring in other neighbors that... Any abutters. That yeah, can turn around and, and say, to, say that this is they right. see him filling in? It's only a, a people who abutter to the property, but we, we're, we're not in an investigation at this point, so we want to err on the side. Yeah, of, what I would like to point out is assumptions and facts are two different things. I understand. Pictures don't lie. Pictures of what? Pictures don't lie. Okay, uh, let's, uh, should we do it? Are we going to schedule a site visit to look as it is at this moment? Yeah. Or Can we, do you mind if we have a site visit uh, on your property? Just to, I mean, Bill's seen it. You guys have Bill's pictures. seen it. No, I think the others should go. All, all the members should go. Eventually, we'll have to probably all go to it. Do we have permission to go on site? With me? 
Yeah. With you, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or without you, it doesn't matter. I think I would be prudent to have him. Yep. No, we need, look, with that way he can explain everything that's yes. going on. Yes. I don't want to be, I don't I want yes. things in context. Mm -hmm. Oh, he yeah, has a good argument. Well, unfortunately, we have to err on the side of only enforcing the law and get, gathering the facts. We can't, we have to look at what happened and then we have to look at what we've said in the past. And unfortunately, those are legal documents that we need to review first because we've already ruled on things on the property. So I don't want to be in a situation where we make a change in venue and he's not happy, they do a research and then we've actually contradicted ourselves. Thank you. So I, I just have to be, I just have to follow the law and follow what we've said. And um, then we can look at things and have conversations about, you know, cleaning out debris in terms of if he's just, you know, disturbing all those other things. We can always review the laws and make sure that he's aware and going forward because it'll naturally go back to its own sense. If that's exactly. if that's what the concern is, but we have to err on the side of that he's doing no harm because he's aware of the wetlands and he has a past history of knowing the wetlands. So to be fair to him and to be fair to the fact that we. The state requires us to obviously take an action, but they're asking for an action without knowing that we already have a previous, they're, they're not aware of what we've previously done on this property. They're just making the grand assumption, oh look, there's a change. We are marking a change because that's what they do. It could very well be true. And it could be very well be true that they're not looking at any past history or any past record. And they're making that, oh, let's look at the aerials and taking one piece of evidence out of context so what we want to do is, yes, look at the aerials. We want to look at the fact that, am I, am I personally concerned about putting soil near the wetlands? Technically, I would be concerned, but it, it, there's obviously mitigation there to ensure. So he's obviously acting as someone who's being aware. If, if I'm seeing, like, the keeping that protective barrier, then clearly he's acting. That got there just two days ago. But I don't have any evidence otherwise, and I can't take anyone's word at it, unfortunately. My pictures so, were seven days ago, and now my pictures were today. Right. So I well, got we're gonna, gonna, We yeah, have we'll to just take everything in context. Step at a time right now. They, they um, warned that that if, little barrier was not there seven days ago. If, and if he turns if, around and lets everything grow back if, up, I wouldn't be complaining oh, so much. If, if he is an error, it will be corrected. Mm -hmm. That's all we can do. Let's yep. continue and, and we'll gather the information. Mr. Burner's given us permission to enter the site with him, with him yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, if he we can have his phone number. Nice we have your phone number on the uh, okay. sign-in sheet. Uh, if he can make his place all nice and clean, I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to just leave the big trees and all the little ones are going to be gone. Because that's exactly right. what the that's... shed is. It's not anything about the shed. All right, let's, uh, okay, yeah, let's, let's, Do I motion to? yeah, we'll motion to continue Thank you. to the 24th. Yep. Yep. We'll, we'll see you all this. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. All right. All right. 24th. Uh, Second. If you can't make it, uh, in the meantime, we're going to pull all records yep. and uh, go from there. I think we should also probably pull the records for the whole Phillip Street project. It's a whole division, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get Phillips Street. That would have been further. When was that? 90, 90. No, that was in the 80s. Was the 80s. 80s? Was that when it was developed, the, the development? Was that in the 80s? Yeah. So that was in the 80s? Yeah, it was. Okay. No, it was, it was 80, 87, 88. 87, 88, then it was that development? No. Finished 89. My house was the last one to be built, and it was 1990. 1990? It was developed in the 80s. In the 80s, though. Late 80s. Late 80s. So yeah. the there original plan. Order conditions for the entire project. That's what I'm saying. There must be. We're we're looking for the original order of conditions for the um, original project when they went to start the subdivision. So we'll look to see because that has to have a delineation in it too. My house was the first one built and it was finished in '88. Okay. Okay. So that's the first one. Oh, and planning usually takes several years to do those selling yeah. of the property. So we're exactly. looking somewhere in the mid '80s. Yes. Okay, thank you very much for that information because that will give us an idea. We'll look it up. Thank you. Uh, so, site visits to be scheduled, I guess we can worry about that later. I, I don't know. We'll have to get together. Once we pull the records out, Yeah. we'll talk about getting a site visit. Yep. And go out to the site and take mm -hmm. a look at it. But I don't know when that will happen. Nice. Amanda, could you maybe go through the files at some point to locate yeah. that? Might be a look at the registry deeds. 
I think it's. Just, I think it was an RDA though. No. Back in the eighties. No, no. I mean, I mean, Nick's project. Oh no. Four years. Well, no, the that original. Was the original. Yeah. The original. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Old business. Yes, I guess. Okay. They give us their notice, the 40 yard notice, they put in their road controls, and they want to start cutting in a spot. So he, they finally call, they, they have their sill fence in. Yeah, um, the straw wattles. When did they call? They sent an email. Like, I didn't get it. Within a couple of days ago. Yeah. Which project was this? Bowen Gun Club. So the one that was on hold. Thank you. You're oh, welcome, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The one that was on hold. Remember that direct concern says he wrote, we were only to inspect the silk fence. So they just called, so we just installed it, so now they're back on track. Um, they've been waiting to get the straw bottles because apparently there was some sort of strike enamors at the, the company. <laughs> and their well, Springfield had some, but it was old and like moldy and had rodents in it. So they yeah, that's wait. great. Mousy they waited models. and they got the new ones. They sent pictures also. Okay. Um, so they sent us pictures of the installation. It's this stretch here where they're going to be like just cutting down the trees so they have a clear view right there right. and it's buffer zone. And I suggest two folks from the commission go out there and take photographs. They, I went out and did they you took photographs. Did you um, take photos? Okay. I didn't take photos. They took photos. The only thing that I was not sure about was the. I'll pull the photos. Did you have the plan set when you went out there? Yeah, I brought this with me because oh, I wanted did? to okay. like orient okay. myself. Good. But I was not sure if they should be staked down. Oops. Yeah, normally waddles. In fact, I had I had they printed staked out. the brew is the proper terms. Um, they did research and looked into like the different options, and I have my book on like erosion control and inspecting mm -hmm. it and what's expected, and like it depends on what you're using it for. So in the area they have it, okay, so it's like all over debris and wooded stuff. So like, and You're also so they're using these very large stakes. So if they stake it through, they're a little worried that they might ruin them. Well, of yes. course, that's yes. the whole point. Actually, if you would one. go to North American Green website, Amanda, please. I thought they were supposed to be stakes. So well, yeah, see, I made se seven printouts and I forgot to bring them. They're in my printer. I thought they were North American Waddle. Green company. And they make waddles and they give you a, uh, there's a cross section as how to, how to install them. And they always. But you install them differently depending on the situation. Good. Like in the area they're at, there's not. Potential erosion. Yeah, and they're not disturbing, they're not touching any earth. Like everything is staying on the ground. All the debris, all the everything. But, so, but, but the, the point is, if you, have, if you have flow of water and they're not anchored to the ground, then the sediment and the silt... But they have the stakes on the back side? Yeah, that's not, that's not appropriate. You, you're not supposed to do it that way. I thought you were staking through the center. That's exactly right. I thought it was Here, on center because then it creates it right an area of contact, contact for, the, for them to biodegrade. Oh, it depends. You don't have to let them back to biodegrade. Because um. this is the same discussion we had a half hour ago about uh, 117 Amherst Street. <laughs> that you had flow. Pretty good. And you different. also had a flat lawn. And right. really it really exactly well, the is If you don't have flow, there's no reason to have any road. Well, that's what I was thinking too, but at the same time, if you're on the border of a wetland, mm -hmm. you just, you have to protect. do something. To protect. It's just to prevent any, like, any sort of stuff from flowing. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not contacting the earth at all. It just... But you also have established soil, so you have established ground, you're just, oh. versus no, with the sediment, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, run off where there's just soil and... No established vegetation. Yeah, like this thing goes about like what, like what is it you're trying to minimize? Like what is the goal with this road control? And that's what I was honestly trying to figure out because I mean back those photos. Yeah, I'm trying to find them. I mean they they're kind of 
meandering. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. But they're meandering because they have to go around the plants that are trees, currently yeah. existed. And there's like the shrubs. Okay, so the this is where it starts. It starts near the the road, right. the old road that was there. The from the which we do was the guys that went in foresters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We went through cutting. I also have that pulled up mm-hmm. here. So it starts right over here okay. where the road is, and then. And then you can kind of just see as it goes along. But you can see how much stuff is on the ground. Right. Well, it's not like... It's because it's... You're not disturbing anything. Right. So. They're not doing any construction. They're anymore. not doing any construction. There's not... like It's not like... You're, you're concerned about sediment or movement. Yeah. Like you're going over a pile of wood. Mistaken. Literally like it's yeah. wood and trees and stuff. It's right. like... Exactly. I don't know how much we can expect them to do without making them move. And disturb everything, right? No, you don't trench that. I, I, I think the only question is whether you put a stake through it or. You, you, you yeah, here it is. Here, here it passes down. Gotcha. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, installation. Right. The whole point is you have to have contact between the bottom of the straw and grade so that any flow does not undercut the problem water. is that's fully established yeah. and there's even yeah. no chance of construction. there's no chance so the that's question the is was the water the best the one or would a silk fence been more like but if we do a silk fence they have to dig up the ground yeah, and that's it's even worse so that's right. there, that's right. I, it's, I think that's fine the way yeah. I, it's a good faith yeah. effort i told they, you that they i was, show, I they show for anything yeah. from flat okay. grade up to a one-to-one slope it's staked right through the center of the but what about right, but that's on terrain? But that's also on straight soil, and in here this you're going really over forest. logs and brush and around stuff, so you're not necessarily in contact with the soil. I was a presenter of their documents. But they didn't. I think, so that's how they installed, very poor. What a poor installation. But the, the trick is, is, do you want to move all that to get an appropriate, you know what I mean? Then you're doing more disruption to the area as a whole. Well, they weren't planning to start cutting until next week anyways. And they said that they're happy to go out and stake you them know, down. If you, you want that to happen, I just don't is, understand. The pragmatic solution is bring a small chainsaw, cut the dead wood, and put the wall on the ground in, after you cut the, the piece of wood. That's the pragmatic solution. But then they're going through and they're like... You're just cutting a dead log. They're cutting up the path of a dead log all the way through the site. But again, you're you're ensuring contact between the straw and the grade so that. But it's it's not really. I think that that's a waste of what they've done is they've just wasted money. You may as well do nothing if they're going to do that. But they couldn't just do that. Who specified that? What firm was it? Who's the engineering company? New environment. Is it Leaky Marcus? I thought it was. It's been bought up. It's a good firm. Yeah, it's so much without it. Arizona. I thought it was Meredith. Yeah. Yeah, the parent company is from out of the West Oh, yeah. West Coast. Anyway. I'm just saying the effectiveness right there, if you see how it, it's kind of. Alex, get, did you I mean, get a close up on that, please? Can you zoom in, in on that? For folks in the TV audience, you see that uh, depiction of installation of a straw water? My opinion is it's poor. Do you want to stake it? Is it's not, want? but the thing is, even it if you says stake that erosion it, control shall be installed and maintained. You're going to end up staking it around and around, around, but it's better than nothing. You've got to have contact between the wattle and the underlying grade. Otherwise, so just take the well and remove it. It's doing absolutely nothing. It has um, Stake it then. Okay. Jeez. That was the question they asked you? Yep. Have them stake it. Yep. Yeah. As per specifications. Now, who did you meet with? Was it Army Corps? Mm-hmm. It was Nick. A guy named Nick. Who is... Who does he work for? What company? He works for the... No, he's just the gun club guy. Remember? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So you didn't work with the contractor or anything? No, no, no. It's just the probably the okay. They members, just did it, but they, they, doing they looked up all the different ways of doing it. Well, the members it. did this installation? They can, throw, they can throw some stakes in. They can throw some stakes in. stake it every four feet. You know, we should do and make yeah, you would we would say that they would need to make um, effort to make sure that the water is in contact with the ground. Of course, 
and not lying over a log. I think that's it, guys. Just if you could do, you grab this, you know, type and print out a few copies and give that to we'll give that to these folks. Okay. Next. That's it. That's it. I wish we had a wireless printer. We have a. Is that it? Any other business? Make a motion while she's printing that, I guess, or uh, sure. okay with that, Amanda? Yeah, it's fine. Make a motion to uh, adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Eight forty-six. Eight forty-six.